Hey, you guys. So we got a story, and once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida. So what's going down in Florida, you ask? What's going down is this. There has been a lot of road rage incidences going down in Florida. Once again, folks are losing their damn mind, okay? No, who may be armed. Well, that's what law enforcement experts are warning tonight as Florida remains at the top of the list for road rage incidents across the country. And this is following a dispute last night involving two cars in San Carlos Park that led to a deadly shooting. Four in your corners, Tony Sidico has been working on this story. He's standing by with a look at why you and other Florida drivers should be especially careful on the road. Tone. Patrick, uh, Amy, that's right. Neighbors tell us they believe road rage may have had something to do with an altercation that led to the shooting last night. Now, gun experts I spoke with today tell me more people are probably driving with a loaded gun than we may realize. These tire tracks mark the final moments of someone's life after neighbors say things got heated between two drivers on Pine Run Lane in Fort Myers Tuesday evening. Lee County deputies now investigating what led up to the shooting. The problem here in Florida is that almost everybody has a gun. But retired police chief Walt Zalisco says it's not uncommon for a dispute on the road to escalate quickly. You may have somebody in a left lane driving slow, somebody else cuts them off, and now somebody's ego is hurt because of that. And they're going to play cat and mouse games with them, try to catch up to them and all. Nearly 2 million Floridians have concealed weapons permits, the most of any state in the country. In southwest Florida counties, Lee, Collier, Charlotte, Glades, and Hendry, more than 100,000 people have permits, most in Lee County. It's not a staggering figure for owner of Shoot Center in Cape Coral, Aaron Forum. That Florida has very lax gun laws. Laws that protect Floridians protecting themselves. If you reasonably believe that your life is in danger and you have to use deadly force to protect your life or someone else's life or to prevent a forcible felony. It's hard to tell whether that individual, the aggressor, will be armed. But most certainly, you don't want to find out. And with a newly released study showing Florida is at the top of the list when it comes to road rage incidents, Zalisco says it's best to swallow your pride before starting the ignition. You have to remain calm. Let that person go who engages the road rage in incident. You know, don't, don't let him get to you because you don't know if that person is armed. You don't know what their mental state is. All right, you guys just saw that video. Then another video went viral the other day, and we see a naked man standing on top of a crane, and police officers and ambulance and firefighters are trying to get his ass down. Check this out. All right, y'all just seen that damn naked man. He needs to sit his naked ass down somewhere, okay? Now, in other damn news that's going on, there's a new viral story about somebody just straight losing in Florida. So what's going down is that we have an older gentleman. His name is Jorge Jove, and basically he's a retired gentleman. He was really upset because the AT&T trucks had pulled up in front of his home, and they were blocking his driveway, and I guess he couldn't get out. And they said they was only going to take a few minutes. They had to fix something really quick and they'd be out of his way. Well, they must have not finished quick enough for him because he went in the house. He went and retrieved his revolver and he proceeded to start shooting at these AT&T trucks. And one of the guys, his name is Derek Taylor, and he's a technician with AT&T. He ended up calling the police because he was so scared that not only him, but his other partners, his other people that he worked with, somebody on his team could get shot by this crazy guy. I want you guys to go ahead and watch the original video and also the news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. There's a guy shooting out my tires. There's a guy shooting out my tires. I'm at work, working in the area of Hialeah, um, 684 Southeast 5th Place. Um, he shot out the tire. Huh? 684 Southeast 5th Place, Miami, Florida. Um, there's a guy shooting out the tires. And he shoot, he's shooting, shooting the engine on the trucks and everything. All right, no problem. Uh, 305, 331. Shooting with an actual gun, an actual gun, a revolver. With an actual gun, he's, he's shooting out the tires. 
All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even nowhere near the guy. He's a Spanish guy. Uh, he's about 60 or something. He's a very old guy. He has a gray shirt with gray pants. All right. No one's injured. Nobody's even near him, but he's 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 still shooting the truck right now. It's a white AT&T bucket truck. Yes. All right. Derek. Derek, my name's Derek. No, nobody. There's somebody up in the bucket. Somebody's up in the bucket right now. And they can't come down because he's shooting the truck. Yes, sir. All right, the police, they just got here. All right, they just pulled up. It's the unnerving video yeah, involving sure a story you saw first on 6. A man pulling out his gun, shooting a utility truck with the workers nearby. Tonight, new video of that alleged gunman walking out of the police department. And if you've opened up the NBC6 News and Weather app in the last 90 minutes, you know we're learning a lot more about his background. NBC6 reporter Laura Rodriguez is live in Miami with that new information for us. Laura? Well, Jackie, according to Hialeah Police, the alleged gunman is a retired Miami-Dade firefighter who does not have a criminal history, but tonight he's spending the night in jail. Police say this is George Hove firing shots at an AT&T truck. No, As this all unfolded, one worker called 911. There's somebody up in the bucket. Somebody's up in the bucket right now, and they can't come down because he's shooting the truck. Hove is caught on camera reloading his revolver several times and shooting the tires, headlights, and radiator outside of his Hialeah home. He was upset that the trucks were parked in front of his house, asked them to move. They said, we'll move in a few minutes. We're just working on the poles. We're supposed to be here. Well, he went back into his house, came out a few moments later with a gun. Anything you want to say? Hovey left the Hialeah Police Department hours after the shooting, headed to jail without making any statements. The AT&T workers stayed on scene as family members rushed over to make sure they were okay. Mi hijo, gracias a Dios, está bien. One of the employee's mother says, thank God my son is okay. They weren't doing anything wrong. They were just doing their job. We don't have any negative information about him, about any criminal history or from any of his neighbors. He seemed to be a quiet man, uh, and something made him snap. And police tell us Hove now faces charges for aggravated assault with a firearm and felony vandalism. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. You know, this entire situation, once again, is a hot damn mess. And unfortunately for him, because he can't control his anger, and unfortunately for him, because he wants to act like a madman with a gun, he's going to be charged with some very, very serious crimes. I mean, you can see the bullets here in the vehicles. I mean, thank goodness that that's all he did was shoot at the vehicle. But what if one of those bullets would have ricocheted from the bumper or from the headlight and shot somebody or killed somebody? You know, this crazy ass man needs to be evaluated. I don't understand what the hell is going down in Florida. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. And you see people trying to make excuses like, oh, the old man wasn't shooting at the workers. He was shooting at the trucks. That doesn't make it right. You're not supposed to take a gun and just start shooting at just anything, okay? It's against the law. You know, you can't just start shooting willy nilly. This is not the wild, wild west. It's like I can't understand how people are even sitting here trying to make excuses for this old man. This entire situation is crazy. It's obvious he has mental issues and he should not own a firearm. If you're that pissed about a truck being parked in front of your house, imagine if somebody actually does something to him physically. Is he just going to whip out a gun and just shoot you and blow your head off? This crazy ass man does not need a gun at all. He's a threat to not only himself, but to others, okay? And then by shooting that many bullets into a truck and then he had the nerve to reload, that's not okay. Because like I said, any of those bullets could have ricocheted. This shit is insane. I don't know what's going down in Florida right now, but folks are straight losing their damn mind, honey. But I will be there next week for my damn birthday, okay? So I'm going to just lay low, 
chill, sip something on the beach and enjoy my time there and get the hell out as soon as I can, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.